Okay, so today we'll be talking about A9 gap and how A9 gap helps us find out the cause of metabolic acidosis. Basically, all the positive and negative charges in the body are equal. It means that if you if you calculate concentration of all the positively charged ions and add them up, and you also calculate concentration of negatively charged ion and you add them up, both sides will be equal. Concentration of all the positively charged ions will be equal to concentration of all negatively charged ions. That is what makes blood neutral. That is what makes body neutral. If there is any change on either side, Let's say if there is any change on positive side, if there is any reduction of the positive charge, body tries to compensate for those losses. Body tries to produce more positive charge and body reabsorbs more positive charged ion to bring the charge back to neutral position. So over here in this diagram, if you see, we have put positively charged ions on left side and negatively charged ions on right side all we the problem is we cannot measure all the all the ions in blood we cannot measure concentration of each and every positively charged ion we cannot measure concentration of all the negatively charged ion what we can do is we measure the dominant ions sodium is a dominant positively charged ion we measure its concentration on negative side chloride is the dominant ion we we calculate the concentration of chloride and second to chloride is bicarbonate and what about all other positively charged ions what about all other negatively charged ions we put all other positively charged ions in the category of unmeasured cations and we put all other negatively charged ions in unmeasured a9 a9 is a negatively charged ion K time is a positively charged ion. All other positively charged ions in unmeasured K times, all other negatively charged ions in unmeasured A ions. Here you go, unmeasured K times, other than sodium, unmeasured A ions, other than chloride and bicarbonate. Now, if you if you look at it, if you look at this diagram, unmeasured A ions are a little more in concentration as compared to unmeasured K times. Unmeasured A ions are a little more in concentration as compared to unmeasured K ions. This this part of this diagram, if you look at it, unmeasured A ions are is greater than unmeasured K ions. This is A ion gap. This part of unmeasured A ions, unmeasured negatively charged ions, which is greater than unmeasured K ions, is A ion gap. How do we calculate it? So if you think if I if I subtract if I subtract uh, unmeasured K times from unmeasured A9, if I subtract unmeasured K times from unmeasured A9, I will get this part, this A9 gap. Unmeasured A9 minus unmeasured K times. But the problem is we do not have any value for these unmeasured A9 and unmeasured K times. We do not have any value for these. So the second thing that we can do is if we take sodium and bicarbonate and chloride, add chloride and bicarbonate and subtract it from sodium. If we add chloride and bicarbonate and subtract it from sodium, we will get this part of this diagram. So what we do is we add bicarbonate and chloride we add bicarbonate and chloride and subtract it from sodium. So that's how we get A9 gap. Now you will be thinking, what is the use of this effort? Why are we putting so much effort into understanding this little part of diagram? The thing is, this little part of diagram, it shifts, it changes very rapidly with any change in pH. Whenever there is acidosis, either this part increases or stays normal or decreases. That gives us too much information about the cause of this change. So you will understand it how, now we will understand that how this, this part of diagram, this little part of diagram is changed with change in acids or ions in body. If we put values of sodium bicarbonate and chloride, these are the values of sodium 141, bicarbonate 24, chloride 105. 
if we solve it, our answer will be 12, which is the normal A9 gap. This, this is normal value of A9 gap. This is normal value of this part of diagram. So if, if we talk about range, what is the normal range of A9 gap? Normal range of A9 gap is from 8 to 16 milli equivalent per liter. This is normal range of A9 gap. Now, if you think, if we have an any, if you have any acid in body, which part of these three ions, which of these three ions will neutralize that acid? Obviously, it's bicarbonate because bicarbonate is a base. Bicarbonate is a base, weak base that reacts with acid. And whenever there is an acid, bicarbonate is consumed. If bicarbonate is consumed, there will be a reduction in this part. This part will shrink. This part of diagram will shrink. When this part of diagram shrinks, what body does? Body does not like any change. Body does not want this side to change. What body does to keep both sides equal? Body increases unmeasured A9. What body does? Body increases unmeasured A9s to counter the reduction of bicarbonate. Acid neutralized bicarbonate there was a reduction in level of bicarbonate. That reduction was compensated by an increase in unmeasured A9. Now, whenever there is increase in unmeasured A9, A9 gap also increases. Now, in such situation where acid is neutralizing bicarbonate and there is reduction of bicarbonate and in turn increase in unmeasured A9, our A9 gap value will increase. That increase in A9 gap is caused by some factors. What are those factors? What are those conditions that produce such acids that neutralize bicarbonate and cause increase in unmeasured A9? We remember with it with the mnemonic mud piles. Mud piles. Mud piles, uh, methanol for M, uremia, diabetic ketoacidosis, peraldehyde, Isoniazid, iron overdose, lactic acidosis, ethylene glycol, salicylates in their late stages. In early stages, there is a totally different. It, in salicylates, in the early stage, cause metabolic alkalosis. In late stages, cause salicylates cause uh, metabolic acidosis. So, whenever there is increase in anion gap, always think of mud piles. Always look for a cause in mud piles, because all these conditions produce acid and that pro acid neutralizes bicarbonate and in turn cause increase in unmeasured A9 that increases our A9 gap. So increase A9 gap, look for any cause in mud piles. Moving on next. Okay, so if I say an acid is being produced in body, and there is reduction in bicarbonate. Bicarbonate part is shrinking. This part of diagram is shrinking, but A9 gap stays normal. If this part of diagram bicarbonate shrinks and A9 gap remains normal, it means then what is increasing? Then what is body doing for compensating this decrease of bicarbonate? Now, instead of increasing unmeasured A9s, body increases chloride instead of body increasing unmeasured a9 to counter this decrease in bicarbonate body increases chloride so whenever there is increase in chloride if you look at this equation chloride and bicarbonate whenever there is a reduction in bicarbonate and increase in chloride Whenever there is a reduction in bicarbonate, whenever there is increase in chloride, it means this, this part of diagram, this part of this equation remains normal because increase, decrease in bicarbonate is countered by increase in chloride. So some of this side always stays normal. In this type of acidosis, in this type of acidosis, A9 gap remains normal. If A9 gap remains normal, then we cut down our differentials, we cut down our causes to few. What are those causes that cause reduction of bicarbonate and in turn increase of chloride instead of unmeasured A9s? Those conditions, we remember them with mnemonic of Hardups. 
hard ups hyper alimentation acetazolamide amphotericin renal tubular acidosis diarrhea ureterosigmoidostomy post hypocapnic state sulfa myelon if you want uh, details on every one of them i'll post them in the comment section you should look uh, the details in comment section uh, same goes for uh, increased nn gap mud piles so the basic cause is increase in chloride uh, in uh, decrease in bicarbonate is countered by increase in chloride that increase in chloride causes this side to stay normal if this side stays normal in nn gap stays normal if in nn gap is normal look for any cause in hardups so if you look at it this the uh, this uh, the concept of in nn gap gives us too much information about the cause of metabolic acidosis whenever there is increased in nn gap look for any cause in mud piles whenever there is normal in nn gap look for any cause in hardups so that's how we use in nn gap in finding out the cause of metabolic acidosis in summary all the positive and negative charges are equal we put the dominant positive ion sodium on this side dominant chloride and bicarbonate ion on right side and all unmeasured cations over here unmeasured anions over here then we said this little part of unmeasured anion is the anion gap then we calculated it by adding bicarbonate and chloride and subtracting it from sodium our value was 12 our uh, normal range is uh, from 8 to 16 milli equivalent per liter and then we said that if uh, there is reduction in bicarbonate and Uh, there is increase in unmeasured anions that increases anion gap and whenever there is in, uh, reduction in bicarbonate and chloride increases that is normal anion gap causes of increase anion gap mud piles causes of normal anion gap hardups thank you very much